If I went up to either side of the handrail here and uh, put some pressure on it, I could move this particular handrail without a problem. And that has a lot to do with the way it's secured to the, to the stairway. Um, and this really isn't a good design. This one here is a little better because it has a post in between. You can see this, this it's not a, an attractive looking stairway the way it's designed. But I got a solution. You can actually, if you're building a, an exterior set of stairs, you can actually put a pipe, uh, you know, a strong, heavy duty galvanized pipe into the concrete footing when you're building the stairway. It's going to be hard to do afterwards. And use this pipe to stabilize the handrail. And you can always move it um, and move the footing to um, uh, whatever spot you need it to be. Now, another thing you can do is, in the previous picture, the concrete was raised. It was even with the walkway, but you could always lower it if you needed to lower the section where the pipe is going to be, especially if it isn't going to work for your particular design. As you can see here in the picture, the soil goes up to and around the metal pole instead of up to the base of the concrete. Next up, you'll need to build some type of a newel post and then slide it over the metal pole. Here you can see a better picture of it. Um, if the metal pole's two, two and a half inches inside, try to make the inside diameter of your box two and a half inches so that it slides right over the pole. Next up, you will need to leave a gap. I would recommend at least an inch between the bottom of the wood and the top of the soil. If you're going to be growing uh, plants or some type of lawn, you might need to uh, maintain this area, make sure that the grass isn't growing underneath the post. Um, even concrete will need a gap. I, I recommend a minimum of a quarter inch gap preferably a half inch gap but again this will depend upon the design of the stairway if you put it right up against the concrete it could uh, rot out same thing with the soil and that would be it this is a, this is basically what you would end up with and this has been a method used by um, lots of carpenters and professionals over the years and it can actually be used on the interior of a home also